Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Samsung VR7000 Powerbot Robot Vacuum Cleaner. This is an unboxing video and an initial review to talk through the sheer power and fun of this robot vacuum cleaner. Now this is one of several robot vacuum cleaners that I have been testing, and it is quite possibly one of my favourites, although it's not the most intelligent because it doesn't have voice activation through Alexa or Google Home like a couple of the other ones have done. It is one of the better robots in that the suction power is fantastic. Now, uh, the Samsung PowerBot has a variety of cleaning modes, including auto, spot, and manual cleaning modes. It comes with a remote control, which allows you to control it manually, moving it around. It also has an app that you can connect, which was a nightmare to connect, I'll be honest, and isn't as good as other apps that I've seen and also suffers from some disconnect issues where the device just isn't you aren't able to control it um, through the app very easily or it disconnected itself from the app and I had to reconnect it and other annoyances like that. It has several different um, suction modes um, low, medium and high power and the high power is obviously the one you're going to be using the most but it's also one of the loudest and it is one of the loudest robot vacuum cleaners I used which could be a bit annoying but if you set it to you, you know go around while you're out of the house then it's not a problem the suction on it is actually the best I've seen so far and it needs to be emptied on a daily basis which I found quite disturbing one of the highlights here was getting this robot vacuum cleaner in after testing another one and uh, where the previous robot had vacuumed the day before, sending this one out to do a vacuum again, I had to empty it afterwards, which shows that either the other one wasn't very good, which I thought it was, to be honest, um, or this one was very good. Just a quick pause for the tape there. Enjoy that. So yeah, it picks up a lot of dirt, which is obviously excellent. This one has a, a camera on top, as you can see, and it senses its way around the room. It's also interesting because it doesn't have a brush in a traditional sense. It's got a big front rubberized brush that doesn't have bristles on it, which is quite interesting. But it it's, um, claims to be self-cleaning, and it does seem to clean itself quite well. But you can also remove it if you need to get debris out from underneath it, or if you need to remove hair that gets wrapped around it, which still does happen. Um, it doesn't have any of the front, you usually see front brushes, some of them have got one, others have had a couple of front brushes that spin round. This has got a very flat front to it and it goes right up against the edge of skirting boards and walls and does a really good job of cleaning those, which was quite impressed by. It does clean in a regimented fashion, it goes around the room quite neatly, uh, back and forth in lines and pushes right up against objects and tests where, where it is and it will slow down when it gets near the edge of a room and it pushes the front of itself right up against it and detects that it's got an edge and it shows you across the front that it's got an edge which is quite good. It has these tracked wheels underneath which you'll have seen in this video where it is able to mount rugs and get over thresholds nice and easily. And it doesn't seem to have any problems either get docking itself or getting around the house. It goes easily from room to room. And if you've got the app installed, you can actually get a mapped pattern to see where it's been. That's the dock right there. So in the usual fashion, it has the two uh, connecting pins on the front. There's a removable battery that you can replace. Also, another benefit of this robot vacuum cleaner is it has a washable filter on it so you don't need to worry about buying replacement filters you can see that you can remove the brush so you can get full access to clean it out properly that red rubberized thing at the front is also how it get cleans the edges so that's, that's sort of the option for where it doesn't have the spinning brushes on the front instead so that's quite good you can see the quite raised wheels there and the heavy tracks so it doesn't have an issue getting around the house not seen it have a problem so much with getting stuck on things. It does suck things up, so like small items of clothing or toys, or if there's big bits of debris, like bits of paper or something left on the floor, then it will suck those up and get stuck with those, but otherwise it doesn't seem to have problems getting around. The scheduling is pretty easy to set up, although the schedule was unusual because you have to set a schedule for the whole week. It doesn't. It, you don't seem to be able to set a schedule for a different schedule for different days, which you could deal with the other rounds. So. Um, other robots so you don't, like if you wanted to have it go out at lunchtime and, and the weekday but then I don't know in the evening on a weekend or something you couldn't do that so it has to be the same time every day which isn't 
a major problem. But now this robot is six hundred and fifty pounds, so it's a lot of money. And I've seen others that are cheaper that do just as good a job, and others that are more expensive that do a worse job. So there's quite a variety when it comes to these robot vacuum cleaners and what you get for your money. Um, one of the highlights, which I'll show a bit later on in here, is there's a point cleaning mode. So on the remote control, there's a blaster which sends out a red light onto the carpet that the robot can see or onto the floor and you can point that in the direction you want the robot to go and then point it to tell it where to go and it will follow the light around like a little puppy running around the house following you and it hoovers up well doing that as well which is pretty cool so if you've sent the robot out to do a scheduled clean or just an automated clean and you feel like it's missed some pot spots or if you've spilt some dirt or rubbish on the floor and you want the robot to go and clean it, you can point this light at it and get it to go and suck that up. Now that's quite a nice feature that I've not seen in other ones. I have seen on um, the Ecovax D-Bot that you could send it out on a mapping system. So there was a map on the app that you could select a specific point for the robot to go and clean that spot. But this one you can lead around the whole house if you wanted to, which is like a manual control of a automated robot vacuum cleaner, which you don't have to push around so it's kind of like vacuuming but not having the hassle of pushing a robot not having the hassle of pushing a vacuum around the house which is quite nice it's, it really is a really good vacuum cleaner it seems to do well on both carpet and hard floors there was a little bit of trouble with sensing the point cleaning on a dark floor but otherwise it, it moved between rooms really well it also adjusts to suck harder when it's on carpet than it than it is on um, like tiled floors because obviously it's you know, different levels of dirt are going to be on those floors and that seemed to work really well it also moves pretty quickly around the house we found that using it we probably got about 30 minutes of usage out of it around roughly around that of cleaning the floors before it either ran out of juice or decided that it had done now it goes back to the charger charges up the battery and will carry on or come back out and carry on cleaning if it feels like it needs to you can also pause it you'll see a pause button on the robot and on the con control which allows you to um, pause it if you need to like if you had a phone call or something you could hear the robot going around and you want it to stop that you can also force send it back to its charger by pressing a button there and adjust the suction levels so if you wanted it to be a bit quieter then you can do that as i said it's probably one of the louder ones but I've tested the previous loud one was um, the Vought work, and that was really loud and blew air out, which this one doesn't tend to do, um, which is nice. So it, although it's loud, you know it's loud because it's getting the job done. And I literally found it was emptying the dust tray on this robot vacuum cleaner on a daily basis, or at least by daily. If it was going, it was scheduled to go around at lunchtime every day. And every day, or every other day, I'm finding myself emptying it, which just goes to show how good it is. It is a fantastic little robot that does a really good job. Um, it does, like I said, £650 is a lot of money, and it does lack some of the functionality in terms of the app isn't that great, I'll be honest. And I really, like, you know, on other robots where I've seen a remote control, I think, what's the point in this? What's the point in having a remote control? But you, here you can see the point based functionality where you um, shining the light on the floor and then getting the robot to follow you around which I think is a really nice touch and, uh, and a nice addition that I've not seen elsewhere with the other robots. It does have such a regimented clean up and down the room. Um, we've seen some issues where it doesn't seem to want to it like missed a section of the room for some reason you couldn't really work out why so although sometimes the cleaning seems a bit illogical it still does a really brilliant job and it's capable of performing a really excellent clean. It leaves uh, deep track marks in the carpet, as you can see from this recording here. Previous tracks, if you see them, you'll see where it's been going up and down the room and back and forth. Now, if there's obstacles in the way, like toys or a footstool or whatever else, then obviously it needs to avoid those. So it will try and avoid obstacles that are in the way and still make its way around the room and uh, go around those objects. And it does a pretty good job with that, and it's not a major hassle. Obviously, as I said before, with other robot vacuum cleaner videos, you need to make sure the floor is clean. So it makes sense to get as much of the stuff out of the way as you can to give it a bit, the best opportunity to clean the floor as well as it can do. And it's such a joy to have in the house, have any of these robots in the house, but this one was especially good. I think it's probably up there with my favorites so far. It does a really thorough job 
I mean, it is a lot of money, so you'd expect it to. But it is impressive. It also, like I said, it has this. It has a replaceable battery underneath, which you can get out. You, you can also wash the filter, which is nice. You don't need to buy replacement filters. Um, and the only downside, one of the downsides I find is that you can see into the con dust container, which is obviously good because you can see when it's getting full and how much dirt it's got in there. But also, it gives the impression that it's dirty a lot, like because it's got such a shiny top to it you need to keep the robot clean as well as it's cleaning your house so you've got to clean the thing that's cleaning your house i suppose that, you probably have that problem with all of them the last one we tested was a white one and that, that similar sort of issue um you can buy spare filters if you need to you can also buy optional extras like a, a special guard that, um virtual guard that puts that you can put in front of important things um, to stop them getting knocked over and broken Anyway, this has been the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Samsung PowerBot VR7000. It's definitely worth a look. It's a really excellent robot vacuum cleaner, and it is worth the money. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and come back for more in future. Thanks!